guys what is up welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is June and in today's video we are doing an unboxing so on July 5th I purchased this iPad Pro and today it is currently August 4th so this iPad took a month to get in but it was well worth the wait and I will show you exactly why it is worth the wait today here is the iPad we'll do the iPad first so this is the box that it comes in very big nice Apple packaging okay so this product is pretty new to Apple this is the iPad 4th generation so the iPad 2020 so there are several different configurations that you can get the iPad 4th generation in you can get it in the 11 inch or the 12.9 inch you can get it in space gray or you can get it in silver and also they have various amounts of storage that you can get on the iPad Pro. So the baseline storage is 128 gigabytes, then it jumps to 256, then to 512 and finally it goes all the way up to 1 terabyte of storage. You can also get this iPad with Wi-Fi and cellular or just Wi-Fi. So today the iPad that I have is the 12.9 inch 256 gigabyte space gray with just wi-fi so i guess we should start unboxing this all right so now let's open this puppy up so i'm gonna take off the lid and here's what it looks like it has a sleeve protector on it and there's a little tab for you to pull it right up out of the box oh it already came on mm. And then on the back, it has a little pull. I actually already opened this, so I just had to put it back on. So you pull off, and inside is the So this is how big the iPad is compared to my face. So I actually have the MacBook 2019 12.9 inch laptop um, and this is the same size as the screen of that one let me go get that hold on okay so this is the 2019 MacBook Pro and this is the iPad Pro 2020 so here's a size comparison the laptop is a little bit bigger but here is a comparison of the thinness if it will focus, it's not going to focus on me. Um, this, holding this is literally making my arm tired. This iPad is so incredibly paper thin and light. I mean, like, I'm not going to want to carry this around with me ever if I can carry this. I mean, like, this is kind of crazy. It's so big and so light. Yeah, guys, this is literally, this is how thin it is. And it is literally so light, like you could literally just like throw this around. It's like a piece of paper. So a little backstory on why I even bought this. So I have an Instagram for my graphics that I do because I'm a graphic design student. And I had a photographer actually DM me and ask about how much it would be for logos or um, typography marketing kind of stuff um, brand identity and I it just like occurred to me if I start doing this like I want to be able to draw I want to be able to do digital graphics and digital art and actually when I was in high school I was in a class called East and we had an iPad Pro never got to be on the newer iPad but I was on the older one with the Apple pencil and I would literally want to be on it every day it was so cool to be able to draw and it already just be in instead of having to scan anything into the computer. And I was thinking about getting the iPad Pro for a very, very long time. And then the photographer DM'd me and asked me that. Then another person asked if I sold prints and I hadn't yet because I had been waiting on purchasing this so that I would have more resources, more ability um, to put more creative stuff out. and. That was kind of the final straw for me when I asked if I sold prints. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I dropped a lot of money on this and I waited a very, very long time 
to be able to get this and now that I have it I've actually been thinking what if I replaced my MacBook Pro with the iPad Pro so right now I'm gonna be testing out the iPad Pro 2020 to see if I want to replace my MacBook Pro with this because the reason why I have a MacBook Pro is to be able to take it with me to school and take it back home. But if this is lighter and I can take notes on this and be completely paperless, then why wouldn't I replace the MacBook with the iPad Pro? See my thoughts? Okay, so that is also what we are going to be testing out in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so there's the iPad, and then also in the box we have a little, it's upside down, we have the little tab thingy, and in here we have the charging cable, which is USB Type-C. I'm already used to these because all my MacBook Pro ports are USB Type-C. And then we also have this adapter, which is so cute. It's like a giant version of the phone wall adapter. So here is the USB Type-C power adapter and here is the USB type C charging cord for the iPad Pro. I'm just going to put these back in here for now. I don't need them. It came pre-charged so that is good. You can start playing around on it instantly because you know when you get a new expensive toy you really want to be on it. So now let's turn this on. Oh it says hello. Okay, so now I'm going to swipe up and choose English and my country. Where are you at? Hello, all the way down here. I'm going to pick United States because that is what I am in right now. Okay, so now it says, it says quick start, bring your current iPhone or iPad near this iPad to sign in and set up. So this is new, I've never seen this before on any Apple products. So I'm going to take my phone and see what we can do here. Okay, so we went handheld so that I can show you guys what is happening. So here is my iPhone that is ancient, but I'm working on getting a new one. And here's the iPad. So this showed up and it says set up new iPad. So I'm gonna unlock to continue and unlock it with my finger. Hello? There we go. So I'm gonna click continue and it's connect. Oh, oh. Hold your new iPad up to the camera. So I'm gonna hold this up. Ah, there it is. Finishing on new iPad. Oh, now it is asking me for my password, which I'm not gonna show you that. All right, so it is connected to Wi Fi. Now it says that it may take a few minutes to activate my iPad. So I'm going to wait and then show you guys what happens once it's done activating. All right, so now it is asking me for Face ID, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the Face ID, which I think is so cool that the iPad has Face ID because my Mac Pro only has Touch ID, not Face ID. Okay, get started, yes. Ooh, look. <laughs> oh, okay. Face ID. First face ID scan complete. Move your head slowly to complete the circle. Yay. Second face ID scan complete. Face ID is now set up. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, now it's setting up my Apple ID. Whew. Okay, now I'm entering my Apple ID and signing into it so it can connect to my account and claim this iPad as mine. Okay, so the iPad has been setting up for probably over five minutes and it's not done yet. So I'm going to place it back in the box and put it to the side so it can finish setting up. And in the meantime, I will show you guys the pencil. Okay, so this is the pencil box 
person I can show you guys. This is the pencil box and it's a little slidey thingy. So I'm going to pull the pencil out. Oh, it's sliding around in there. So here is the box that the pencil comes in and you can pop the pencil right out and then pull the protective plastic. So this is the Apple Pencil second generation. The first generation that they have is not compatible with this iPad. It's only compatible with the first gen. Here is what the Apple Pencil looks like. It has the little Apple Pencil logo right there. And here's what the tip looks like. It is, it's matte white. It's very smooth. I like it. I really like this. Ooh, pretty cool. Okay, now that we opened the pencil and we opened the iPad, my hair is everywhere. Let's see how, let's see if I can connect the pencil to the iPad if it's still setting up. Okay, so as you can see, the iPad is still setting up, but here's the pencil and it is a magnet to the side, so let's stick it. It's not going on. Am I doing something wrong? Does it have to go on a certain side? Oh, oh, it's on. It won't magnetize on just any side. It magnetizes on this flat side right here, like that. Dang, that slams hard on the iPad. Ooh, not good. So, it's not do it's not doing anything currently on the iPad for the pencil, so I think it has to finish setting up before we can connect the pencil. So, I will be back with you guys once this is done setting up. All right, guys. So, here is the welcome to iPad screen that is currently oh screen that is currently on i had to go back um and cancel the thing that was connected to my phone because it was taking forever and i set it up manually so now i'm just going to swipe up ah it's open okay so here is the ipad open and here's the pencil and the pencil is not it is it is connected let me see if it does it not no, go I thought it was all sides. I guess it's just on one. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Cool. So now it is connected and that's how it charges. I can't get it off. That'd be bad for lefties, you know what I'm saying? Having to reach across. I know, time. they should have done it on both sides because I'm a lefty and it doesn't do it over here. Does it do it over here? I honestly thought that it did it on everything okay so here's what it looks like it comes with all the standard apps that most apple stuff comes on but i know what i want i'm going to go and the first thing that i'm going to buy, buy. is yeah i think you have to buy it what am i doing sure i don't care um so the first thing that i want to buy is wow oh i guess i already clicked it is procreate and it is ten dollars and i'm buying it anyway Hey guys, so Procreate is finally loaded, so I'm going to click on it, and wait for it to open, whoa. Alright, so we are in Procreate, now I'm going to open a new canvas, and I'm just going to... Let me go like this. Okay guys, so I've just been playing around with Procreate for a little while and I made these little cute bees and these little um, leaves, I guess they would be. I think that these bees are literally so cute. Look how cute these bees are. They're so happy. Happy bees. They're so cute. Okay, anyway, so this is just me playing around with Procreate for a couple minutes. Okay guys, so I have played around 
with the iPad Pro 2020. Oh, it's kind of doing all sorts of stuff over here. And I've also played around with it with the Apple Pencil second generation pen with Procreate and Vectinator. <laughs> and my final thoughts that are that... That are. <laughs> my final thoughts, hold on, are that this is a really smart purchase. So this might replace my MacBook Pro. I will keep you guys updated in future videos on what I oh check the camera on what I've decided to do and after I've tested this out for a couple more weeks. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked this iPad Pro 2020 unboxing video. Stay tuned to see all the accessories that I have bought for this and also for what's on my iPad next as a graphic designer. Okay guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up and also ring the notification bell so that you never miss a Monday or Thursday upload. Also, subscribe and like because I spent $1,300 on this video and that will make me feel better about it. Alright, stay tuned for more thrift and iPad related videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram where you can keep up with me in real time. And maybe you'll see some of my designs on there too. Follow both my personal and my graphic design one. Okay, thanks. Okay, guys, that is going to be it. I will see you in the next one.